You know, the differences are much more apparent when you look at them side by side like this. The first big difference that you probably noticed already is that this iMac is extra shiny compared to the original Bondi Blue iMac G3 released in 1998. In a lot of Apple prototypes, this is common, and I'm not 100% sure why, but I'm guessing it's to save on manufacturing cost. The other thing you may notice is that it's a lot more see-through than this one. If you look at the plastic here, you'll see there's more housings and there's probably some EMI, electromagnetic interference shielding in there and all that stuff. And that kind of blocks the view on the inside. Now, because this is a prototype iMac G3, it's a pre-release hardware, it doesn't need to pass FCC compliance because it's not being sold yet. So certain things like EMI shielding to prevent it from interfering with other things is not necessary in this stage of development.